If you've purchased Band in a Box, depending on the package and the option you went for, you may receive it on a hard drive, a flash drive, DVD, or via download. If you've purchased Band in a Box on a flash drive, DVD, or download, we have different tutorials for you. This tutorial will focus on installing from a hard drive. If you've ordered Band in a Box on an external hard drive, you will receive one portable hard drive and receive one USB connection cable for installation. In this video, we are installing Band in a Box 2018 Ultra Pack for Mac. A complete installation requires 120 gigabytes of free hard drive space, which includes over 2,500 hours of studio musician recordings in thousands of different styles. When installing the software, you will be given three options for installation. Option 1. Run Band in a Box directly from the USB hard drive. This is the minimal installation and requires about 1 GB of free hard drive space. Only the MIDI and audio plugins as well as the fonts are installed to your internal drive, leaving the software and content library on the external drive. Option 2. Install the Band in a Box software on your internal drive but leave the real tracks on the external drive. This requires about 20 GB of free hard drive space. Option 3. Complete installation. This installs the full Band in a Box software as well as the complete Realtracks library to your internal drive. And it is this option we will be discussing in this video. This installation requires about 120 gigabytes of free hard drive space and is the recommended installation if you have the available space. If you have decided on one of the other two options for installation, please stop this video and refer to the video that applies to the installation of your choice. You can find these videos by navigating to the video section of the support page on our website at www.pgmusic.com. First, you will need to connect the external hard drive to your computer using the USB cable. The USB cable includes three separate connectors. Connector A plugs into the USB port on the external hard drive. Connector B connects directly into the computer's USB port. Connector C is only used if you need to connect a second USB to your computer for additional power to run the external drive. Once you have the hard drive connected to your computer via USB, the drive should automatically show up on your desktop. If the drive does not show up automatically, you can locate the drive under Devices in the Finder. Each hard drive will have an Applications folder. This folder includes all the necessary files to run Band in a Box directly from the USB drive. The drive will also have a setup file for installation, a license file, a folder with PDF program manuals, a plugins folder which includes each individual installer for the different components of the installation, such as Amplitube and Sforzando. The hard drive will also have a readme file with additional information. When you are ready to begin the installation, double click the setup file. The first screen will show you a list of the three different install options we discussed earlier in the video. Press continue. The next screen will have a detailed description of the three installation options, as well as more information such as system requirements to run the software and contact information for PG Music. Press continue. Next you will see the license agreement. Press continue and agree. The next screen will have a list of components to install. If you wish to do a full installation to your internal drive, be sure that all four options on this page are checked. The first two options will install the software and the content library to your internal drive. The third option installs the required files. The fourth option is for whether or not you would like to install the MIDI and audio plugins to your internal drive. When you are ready, press continue and then press install. This installation will take some time. Once the install has completed, you can press close. You can now start Band in a Box from the icon located in the Applications folder on your internal drive. Once you have installed Band in a Box, you will be prompted with a message stating that Band in a Box is not fully functional and needs to be activated. To activate the software, be sure to have your serial number ready, go to the Help menu, and select Enter Serial Number to activate Band in a Box. If your computer is connected to the internet, select Activate Online. Now enter your 24 digit serial number. Be sure to include the dashes and press Activate Now. Band in a Box is now activated and ready to use. If your computer is not connected to the internet, you will need to do an offline activation. Select Activate Offline. You will now be provided a request number. Then you just need to call our toll-free number at 
268-268-6272 and have your request number as well as your serial number ready. One of our PG Music customer service representatives will provide you an activation code over the phone. Then all you need to do is enter your serial number as well as the activation code you were given and press activate now. Band in a Box is now activated and ready to use. You will now want to open your style picker. You will then be prompted to rebuild the master list. Click yes. This will take some time. Once this has completed, you can close the style picker. If you've upgraded from a previous version of Band in a Box, you will want to check to see that your real tracks and real drums directories are set up correctly. You can do this by selecting Tracks, Real Tracks, Real Tracks Preferences. If you installed the Real Tracks to your internal drive, the Real Tracks directory should be set to the default Applications, Band in a Box, Real Tracks. If you left the Real Tracks on the external drive, you will need to set up your custom directory. Check the box that reads Use a custom directory for the Real Tracks, and then click the folder icon. Navigate to the external drive, select Applications, Band in a Box, Real Tracks, and then press Choose. Click Update to verify the location, and press OK. You will want to do the same for the Real Drums. Select Tracks, Real Drums, Real Drums Preferences. Check Use a Custom Directory for the Real Drums, and then press Choose. Navigate to the external drive, select Applications, Band in a Box, Drums, and then press Choose. Click Update to verify the location, press OK, and you're done. Your Band in a Box software is now ready to use. Have fun.